What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are wearing pink, so I figured we'd rock out with a nice little Sylveon team for you guys today. And that's exactly what we're doing, Choice Spec Sylveon in Regulation D. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and ring this notification bell so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we we're using Sylveon today. Really cool Pokemon that I absolutely love. And I still think it is decently strong on the Regulation D rank ladder. Love its moveset. Love everything about it. It's just such a solid Pokemon with its, uh, with its solid stats. But this team also features some other strong Pokemon from the Regulation D, such as Zapdos, Landers, and Heatran. Really like this team. I think they all gel well together. We should be able to grab some wins for you guys. But the first Pokemon on today's team preview is going to be Grimstrong. And it's not my normal favorite light screen Grimstrong. This one's a bit different with Parting Shot and Fake Out. It also has Misty Terrain and Sucker Punch as its other two moves. And it's rocking the Roselli Berry as its item. In our second slot, we got the one and only Sylveon. Pixelate and Choice Specs as its item with Hyper Voice, Terra Blast, Quick Attack, and Hyper Beam. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially with Hyper Beam. You get off a Choice Specs Hyper Beam, it is absurd. And add it to the ability of Pixelate, that Hyper Beam becomes Fairy. So that can just do some crazy damage all across the board for Sylveon. In our third slot, we got the one and only Zapdos. Zapdos has been so strong in Regulation D, especially when it comes to brain teams. But this Pokemon right here is one of our only sources of speed with Tailwind. It also has Thunderbolt, Hurricane, and Roost. And then the item that is holding is going to be Covert Cloak. In the fourth slot, we got Heatran. Heatran's just that guy that is good on any team. He's got a great ability with Flash Fire, the leftovers as his item, Grass Terror type with Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got the Choice Scarf Landers with Intimidate, and then move set of U Turn, EQ, Rock Slide, and Stomp Tantrum. Then our final Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane, which I don't really want to say much about it, but this one actually has Fake Tears. Really, really cool. Booster Energy with Fake Tears. We can drop Special Defense and just get ripping from there. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Regulation D Sylveon team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a tough squad. Rocking out with Urshifu, Dragonite, Grimstrong, just like us, Fluttermane, just like us, Heatran, just like us, and then last but not least, they do have the Galarian Moltres. So, kind of a similar team, half and half. They do have some very strong meta Pokemon that we gotta watch out for, but I'm thinking of maybe just leading a Pokemon like Zapdos. Zapdos can be pretty good just due to its typing. They don't have too much that can just absolutely dump on me. So I'm fairly confident we can get off a, uh, a Tailwind. Plus, they want to go into physical attackers, such as... Uh, what is that Pokemon called? Such as Dragonite and E-Speed Me. I have a static ability. Chances are we'll be able to grab Paralyze from there. But I'm going to also lead Zapdos with the Grimmy Grim. Gotta love Grimstarl. And then bring the Choice Spec Sylveon in the back end, alongside with Fluttermane. Right? Fluttermane has got to come in here. Let me make sure its booster energy is on speed. And it is. Cool. So Booster Energy is going to go towards speed. This thing is going crazy fast. And we can really get ripping from there. I actually really like this. Just want to check Sylveon's stats before we get things started here, but 154 on the special attacking side. Its defense is amazing. 151 special defense and 107 defense. Same thing with its HP stat. I just love Sylveon. I think it's just so good all around, so loving that, loving that, loving that. But let's lock in Fluttermane, hit done on this one, and hop into match number one. So we'll see We'll see what they want to do. Because this, this feels like it's got to be like Larry Moltres coming out here for a lead, but I would not be surprised. Obviously, like, Grimstar is going to come out here, but I think it's going to be Grimstar and Glaring Moltres. But I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see Dragon in this lead as well. So we'll see. Grimstar and Fluttermane. So they end up going into the Fluttermane. We already knew Grimstar was coming out here, and I'm just going to fake out. I might just parting shot out of here. To be honest. I might just parting shot and then go into, say, Sylveon of my own, right? Maybe get off a Tailwind, because your speed, what's your speed at? You're not going to be able to outspeed. I could go into my Flutter main after this, which would be dandy. It would be lovely. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to parting shot. Instead of faking out the Grimstrong, I just feel as if we uh, if we stay in here with Grimstrong, he's just going to die out to whatever Flutter main is going to do here. So he's going to end up to Rastalize here. Probably the Flutter main is a straight fairy. Probably correct. Yeah, so now I'm just going to parting shot away from the fairy. Yeah, he's looking up. He's looking to get off some big time damage. Some big time damage he's looking to do. So I can definitely see a light screen or reflect coming out here and then Fluttermane just dropping like a moon blast or something. But he ends up trying to go for Sucker Punch, which is rather big for us. And no screens or anything is out here yet. We get off a nice lovely parting shot. And we're going to drop the special attack stat of Fluttermane. So I'm cool with that. Definitely cool with that. 
As much as I want to bring out Sylveon, as much as I want to bring it out, I think Fluttermane's going to be your play. Get some speed going here, because even with Tailwind, our Sylveon cannot speed, which is tough news. It's definitely tough news. Even though Sylveon will be better at bulking the shot up, I still like Fluttermane here. So I'm going to go Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane should be able to soak pretty well. And even if they want to go into a Sucker Punch to Fluttermane after his turn, we should be fine with it. So I'm throwing out my Flutter. You going for Gleam or Moonblast? Is the real question. Hopefully Gleam. It is Gleam. That's fine by me. You're minus one. This should do about half the Flutter main, maybe a bit more. Not even. Oh baby, we love that. We love when we when we uh overestimate moves. We love it. We love it. Now we get off the tail and now I'm sitting here and I could Roost. I could Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt's gonna be my play. Just Thunderbolt into that and maybe just Moonblast into Grimstorm. To be honest, because I'm not too worried about the Flutter Man, right? It's minus one, it might end up swapping out, it might protect me, he's just gonna suck punch me. And that almost KOs me. That is terrible that that almost KOs me. I get off a of Moonblast, I am able to KO. Probably another Dazzling is gonna come out here, but I'm hoping I can get a Paralyze on this Flutter Man, which would be amazing. It would be huge if we get a Paralyze on this thing. Give me Para. We don't get the Para. But Gleam's gonna fly here again. We have speed up against every Pokemon besides that. And I think just going into Sylveon at this point might be your play. Having my choice spec Sylveon start getting after it. Probably the best statement we can make, right? Yeah, let's do it. We'll save Grimstarl for back end. I like Grimstarl, especially for support later in the match. Now let's see who they end up going into. It's gonna be Dragonite. Dragonite can ease speed me, which is a slight issue, a slight problem, but. Nice little Hyper Voice can do some big time damage, so I'm just going to go into a Thunderbolt into here, and I'm just going to Hyper Voice across the board. I'm choosing that. What's your Terror type? What is your Terror type, Zathos? It's water. Mm. Water. Mm. I don't really want to waste my Terror right now. Don't really want to waste my Terror. So I'm just going to say here, there's no point of even using your Terror. Wee Speed's going to come out here. You're able to soak. It's pretty big. And you get a Paralyze on the Dragonite. We love that. We love a big time Paralyze on the Dragonite. So we get a Paralyze on Dragonite. Can we get a Paralyze onto the Fluttermane here? We don't. And that's when flies. I was hoping we get off Paralyze because then Hyper Voice could have came out here and uh, picked the KO before Fluttermane would have went out here. But I still like where we're sitting here. So I get off a of Hyper Voice. I am going to KO the Fluttermane. I'm going to do some big time damage. Not even big time damage, a big time KO on the Dragonite. And Choice Specs Sylveon is thriving beautifully. It's a really hot start for us in uh, this match. We came out there, parting shot onto the Flutter Man, neglect a lot of the damage that it wanted to do. And now I got Sylveon out here. Choice Spec fully up. I can Sucker Punch. I can go to Fake Out. I can set Misty to win if I want to as well. But Urshfree's going to come out here. And that pretty much wraps it up for us, right? Wrap it up. We could protect here. It is a possibility, but we're pretty much wrapping it up. So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna stick with my hyper voice. And we'll get after it. Okay, so we detect. So I'm just gonna party shot into it next turn then. Just so I go first and I drop that attack stat. And honestly, I probably should have terrestrialized into water. I, I didn't even use my terror yet, but I probably should have terrestrialized into water. And the reason I say that is because of uh because it would have neutralized some of the damage coming out from the fairy moves, but it's all good. It's all good. We really don't need it. But from here, I'm going to parting shot, and I'm just going to chop uh, Hyper Voice, right? It'll be my play. The parting shot, drop that attack stat. I mean, if he's going for Surgeon Strikes, it really doesn't matter, but still. Could be going for a close combat. You never know. You never know. Nope, Surgeon Strikes can come out here. We're going to be able to soak. And I'll just start sucker punching that thing. And another Surgeon Strikes will actually KO. That hurts. At least we get off one Hyper Voice, which is pretty big. Pretty big for us. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. It's Choice Spec, and it still is super effective. Wait a minute. I just... Okay, never mind. It, it goes out as normal. It goes out as normal. I was going to say. Because when I read it the first time, it said uh, effective, not super effective, and it kind of confused me. It definitely did. But then I realized it comes out as normal until the Pixelate ability. Because if you look at it, see how it says effective? Until it's it's actually a fair move due to its ability. But uh there we go. We bring it down to one HP. I can sucker punch, I can go for a hyper voice, and that's gonna be game. Game set match coming out here. Nice little battle, especially from Sylveon and Grimstone. Two top tier Pokemon in this battle. Let's hop to a second. Let's go back to back for you guys.
Hopping into our second match for today's video, we're going up against a bit of a stronger team. Actually, I would say the other team was stronger, but they got Shen Pao. Shen Pao is always deadly, always can one-shot pretty much anything. It's always a threat to any of my Pokemon. But they also got Reggie Draco and Regilecki, two very good Pokemon in their certain stats. Like Regilecki's good on the special attacking side and on the speed side, whereas Reggie Draco's good on the bulky HP side and on the special attacking side. So you gotta watch out for both of them. They got Heatran, they got Rotom Wash, and then last but not least, they are rocking out with Cresselia for a nice little support Pokemon. But who should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I am scared of the reggie i think regilecki might come in here for a lead so i kind of want to lead a pokemon maybe like lando i can always u-turn out or i can always swap into lando which isn't bad what do i want to do grimstarl is not bad i think we go grimstarl and zap this again just so we can get off uh tailwind if need be and then from here we go lando and fluttermane hmm lando fluttermane's not bad i definitely want lando but I don't know if I want Fluttermane or Sylveon, because Sylveon did some work in the last match. But I'm going to lean a bit more towards Fluttermane here, just because of how good it actually is. So, we used Sylveon in that last match. Did absolutely amazing. Absolutely ripped into Dragonite. And Dragonite was probably multi-skilled, and we still took it out in one shot, which was huge. But yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see what they end up leading. We didn't even use our Terra in the last match, too. Because we didn't need it. We did not need our Terra. We just simply did not need that. I was like looking at chances to use it, it just was not helpful for us. Maybe earlier, maybe I missed a, a Terra chance, but other than that, I was just trying to save it for, for a chance if we needed it. And it came out, we did not need it. We just did not need it. But Regilecki and Heatran are gonna come out here. Um, That's okay, that's fine, I guess. But I might just Terrastalize. I'm gonna Terrastalize my Grimstone. Just so I don't die by a straight a straight, what's it called? A flash cannon here. I really don't want to get ripped into by a flash cannon. So I'm going to Terrasalize here. I'm going to fake out the Reg Lucky. And then I'm going to go into Parting Shot onto somebody next turn. And then get, get in uh, Lando here. That's going to be the play all day. So we're going to Terrasalize the Grimstar. I really don't want to lose it this early on, especially because we can use it for later. And honestly, I really like this Grimstar set too. Just screens is my favorite. Always has been, always will. But I really like this one, just being able to fake out and then go into parting shots and just constantly be able to drop attack and, and get more fake outs off. It's just big time. So I'm going to fake out the Reg Lucky. Hopefully it's not Cobra Cloak, who flinches. And I'm going to set up a Tailwind. So now that we've got some speed, probably going into a Flash Cannon to me. Is that a correct statement? Yep, and this is exactly why we throw Astralize. Big time Terror coming out from Genius. So if I did not Terror, chances are we died of that. Because now I can go into this. And I can also go into a Thunderbolt. I'm really liking Thunderbolt. I'm just gonna, th I'm just gonna double down the Heatran here. So I'm gonna parting shot dip, swap into Lando because I could see, I could see an electric wet uh, e web or an electric move coming into this slot. Plus, I can then EQ and it'll be super effective into both of them, which is awesome. And I'm next to my lovely little bird, so he won't get hit. So I could have actually parting shot into Regilecki. I just feel as uh, Regilecki, we're going to get after, so I'm not too worried about it. So I Thunderbolt into Heatran. Can we get a para just to pester it more? We do not. We pop its air balloon, though. There's the E-Web. That's fine. My, my what's it called? My Lando should be faster than everybody. It's choice spec, all that good stuff. And they're going to Magma Storm me, too. Leave me alone. Trapped by a Swirling Magma. Yo! Stop that. So what I think is actually going to happen here, I'm still, I still want to drop an EQ. I could see a swap of Regilecki come out here and a potential Terrastalize from Heatran. So I'm going to go for the Hurricane into that slot because most of the time Heatrans are going to be Grass Terror. And yeah, so we see a swap from Regilecki. They're going to go into him. They're going to go into Crest. So Crest is going to be able to dodge the EQ. And he ends up just protecting. Okay. Smart plays from opponent. Real smart plays. Lovely plays. I might just want to hard swap my uh, my Lando here. I might just need him for later. I might just need him for later. Regilecki is a problem, but that was a great turn by our opponent. Really solid turn. And I'm trying to think of what we should do here. So I could do the same thing, but I, I need Lando. I, might, I think I need to swap Lando. I think I need to swap Lando here. Get him off that Magma Storm. Maybe just go back into a Pokemon like you. 
should definitely pop a trick. They're in a good position right now. That's a great place by our opponent. Um, yeah, I think I need to swap you. I can't be swapped because I'm in a magma storm. Is there a certain amount of turns on this? I'm just bounded. I'm just bounded. I can't move. That is ugly. So, yeah, I guess we go for EQ and we go for a, uh, a hurricane. Just in case Heatran wants a Terra. Uh, I'm able to go for the EQ. I am going to get rid of Heatran, which is big time. And then on top of this, Hurricane is going to slide over to the Crest slot. But again, Crest is definitely pop a trick move, Which actually might help us out if it does. Hurricane's going to miss too. Come on. Zapdos? Just land that. You going for Trick Room? No, they're going for Ice Beam. Kind of hurts. I really wanted Lando for Reg Lucky, but they trapped me. They straight up trapped me. My Tailwind is now gone. Um, hmm. I want to go on a Fluttermain here. Fluttermain still can't outspeed, which is tough news. And I think I'm just going to set up another Tailwind, right? Do I set up another Tailwind? I feel like there's a chance to go into Trick Room here. There's no way they go into Trick Room. There's just no shot. I'm going to Parting Shot onto that, though. There's no way they go in the Trick Room. I just don't see it happening. With Regilecki? There's no way. I'm going to Fake Out, or I'm going to Parting Shot and then uh, Tailwind. There's just no way, right? Especially this turn. Maybe next turn after they see us, Tailwind. I'm not too sure. We're going to see a Terra type. Right there. Lovely little Terra type. From Crest to turn into straight electric. Wow, yeah, Lando would have been a gorgeous sight right here. I mean, it says levitate anyway. But electric terror type comes out of here. And I'm parting into this thing. I, again, I just don't don't see it. I think it's going for like an ice beam and uh E web into my Pokemon. So if we're not gonna go into Flutter Main, my only option. If they E web me, they E web me, but Opponents making some good plays here. They really are. I'm gonna put a synthesis boost, get all this goodies up here. Speed's gonna be heightened, and let's see what they end up doing. Ancient power. Can we eat that? All day. Don't you dare get the boost. Cool. They don't get the boost, and oh, please don't tell me you're going for trick room. Cool. I've been so upset. Well, Ice Beam comes out here. We're able to soak. So now. I'm gonna go for a moon blast here. And on top of that, I'm gonna try to roost. I'm gonna try to roost. I'm gonna try to get some HP back. I'm just gonna try to roost up some HP. This Fluttermane might be able to KO Regilek here. And if it does, that means we can start roosting, getting back HP, and eventually I can start uh lowering defense stats of Cresselia with fake tears. Fake tears might come in clutch, I don't know. This is just my thought process right here. That's just the thought process. This is such a good match, yo. I love getting matches like this on recording. Where opponent's playing good, we're playing good, and we're just battling back and forth. But let's see how this one plays out. Can we KO? Can you KO this? You cannot. That hurts. Can we get a drop? We do not get a drop. A soul. Her ancient power's gonna fly here. Should be able to soak that. All day. And the Lunar Blessing will come out here. That dang Lunar Blessing. And actually, Roost actually made me a ground type. So from here, you know what? I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to Roost up. Roost makes me... It, it takes away flying type. So that's why Ancient Power did not do that much damage. Look at Fluttermane's little smirk. <laughs> like, you see see its little smirk? It's just screaming like, Hey, Reg Lecky, I'm about to hit you with this Moon Blast. <laughs> it's so funny. But from here, I think if, if I was them... If I was them, I'd pop a trick in here. But hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. So I'm doing this. I'm going to roost again. Get back a ton of HP. And I hope that the Ice Beam comes out here. And then what I'm going to do is just start special defense dropping that thing. I do not want to deal with that. I'm back up to full HP. And they're going to Thunderbolt me? Can you soak this? All day. Oh, but of course. But of course they get the power. Of course they get the power. So now that I cannot swap out Crest, and now I really want to start getting after it, but it depends who this is. This is the scariest of them all. 
This is the scary Pokemon. So from here, I am going to Gleam and I'm going to double down into it. I am scared. I am scared of that thing. I really want this special defense drop crest, but right now we gotta get after it. Sucker Punch comes out here, and that just straight up KOs me. Thing is so good for no reason. For no reason is that good. The Thunderbolt flies. We do half HP of that, which is great. That thing's gonna start calm mind boost, which is uh, a little iffy, right? Little iffy. I mean. Hmm. What do I do from here? I could fake out Shadow Bell. I could definitely fake out Shadow Bell. But I'm thinking of just parting shotting into this thing. I'm thinking of just parting shotting into Crest and then just finishing off Shen Pao. Because Shen Pao might even protect here. Then when we have fake out, it does not. Hopefully, he's just going for a sucker punch. I'm parting shot into that. Let's see what he ends up doing. Just goes for an ice and crash. I think I read too far into it. Definitely did. Could have just faked it out. Could have just faked him out. Yeah, definitely read way too far into that one. But I feel like we had to make a play in order to win that. If I would have just say I would have faked out the Shen Pao and then KO'd it that turn, I actually would have been pretty good. That's on me. I mean, I could sucker punch see if I could pick up a KO, but. It's not going to be able to. I'm just going to run this one. Made a mistake at the end there. Such a good battle for me and our opponents. We're one and one. I'm promising you guys a victory in match number three. Final match is on its way, and I definitely should have faked out the Shen Pao. We probably could have won that match or had a hot chance of winning that match. But uh, we're in our third and final match, and I'm promising you guys a victory here. We're going up against a Sylveon team. Super, super cool, so I definitely want to bring in Sylveon. Hopefully, they bring their Sylveon too, so we can have a little bit of a mirror matchup. But they're also rocking with Heatran. They got Lando, they got Urshfu, and then they got Crest and Amoongus. So I definitely want Fluttermane in here somewhere. I definitely want Sylveon because I love Sylveon. Plus, this video is about Sylveon. And then, um, do we go Grimmsnarl Zapdos again? I just really like that lead. I think Speed Control is a big factor for us. So I am going to go in with both of them. And go Sylveon, and then go Flutter Flutter. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. I know I promise you guys one, but maybe, maybe that, maybe this promise is gonna be broken. I don't know. I can't guarantee it. I just like to say it. Most of the time, I do prevail. So let's see. Yo, look at that picture. The Charizard looks picked off, yo. He's just not having it. He's not having it. Let's see. They go a Moongi alongside with Heatran and. Could just terrestrialize like I did in the last one. And I'm kind of leaning lean towards that. Just terrestrializing it. Maybe just parting shot. Or I could just fake it out turn one. Yeah, I'm thinking of just faking out and just trying to get off a hurricane if I can. To a Moongus. I would love to be able to just land this hurricane. Be big time. Let's see what they end up doing. So they're going to end up terrestrializing. I have Moose, right? I mean, I have water on Moose, but are they gonna put me to sleep? Well, not a Moose. I have Thunder. No, it's gonna be a dark type of Moongus. That's rather weird, but. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I should have definitely Tailwind, but Fake Out's gonna come out here. We're gonna make the Heat Tram flinch this turn. Then I'm gonna be able to land a Hurricane. So, good thing they actually did Terrestrialize. Can I get Confusion? Never do. I never do. He's gonna put somebody to sleep. I end up putting my Grimstrong to sleep. Okay. Grimstone is now asleep. Kind of scary, right? Do I hard swap him? Do I terrestrialize? I might just terrestrialize him. Even, like, even though he's asleep, I think terrestrializing him. What? Just so he doesn't die out. I really want him for later. So from here, I'm just going to start ripping Thunderbolts into... Into Amoongus here. Now I'm gonna, this might be one of the first times I've ever done this, but I'm terrestrializing a Pokemon that is asleep on my team. I'm doing it. And I have an odd feeling that this opponent is just going to put all my Pokemon to sleep left and right. It's going to be such an annoying match. I really have a feeling about that. I'm going to terrestrialize. I do not want to die out to a Flash Cannon. I would rather have Grimstone for later, so. I'm going to play. Thunderbolt's going to get cooking here. How much damage are we doing in that? Good, another Thunderbolt can KO. And he's going to end up healing. Wow, so, wasting my Terra? Come on, yo, double Spore? Should not be allowed. 
It simply should not be allowed. Just should not be allowed. Double spore. What a person. So, Mira, I'm gonna go for that and I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. I mean, I'm gonna be asleep both these turns 100%, right? And now they're able to withdraw Moongus, Regenerator across, Heat Waves coming in. This is just ugly, man. They bring out Lando as well. Rock Slide's gonna come in here. Oh, Lord. Double Sleep should not be allowed. It simply should not. It simply should not be allowed. Oh, my Lord. That's so dumb, man. They really gotta do something about Spore. It's just so strong. Heat Wave's gonna come out here. And who's dodging? Zapdos dodging it. Okay, so we know probably Rock Slide. I had a. That was a really bad once it called from us. That was a really bad uh, terror from us, but we tried something. I really did think the Flash Hands was going to come out here. But from here, hopefully I wake up. I do. I'm going to be able to parting shot. I'm going to get an attack drop onto you. And hopefully Zapdos can wake up because chances are they're going for Rock Slide here, correct? No, I don't think we're surviving, man. We're going to need to dodge one of them. Do I get the Grimstarl swap? Um, this is tough because I kind of need Terra. I can't KO the... The Heatran. <laughs> I can't KO the Heatran. Unless Heatran Thrasilize, which would be the best play. But I, I, I don't think I can force it into one. Plus, I'm still asleep and it's just ugly. Boxside does come out here. We are able to eat that up because of that move. And can we dodge Heat Wave? We do not. This is just, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could have got you guys this victory. I can't do anything about the double sleeps. They had terror on my end, too. We probably wouldn't have won this one regardless. Actually, we, we definitely would have had a shot if they didn't put me to sleep, man. Just doing me so bad. If they didn't put me to sleep, I wouldn't have to terrestrialize. And I could have terrestrialized for this thing. And everything would have been thriving. It would have been just dandy. But from here, I'm going to go into Hyper Voice. And I'm going to go into a Moon Blast. And I'm going to double down into the Slando slot. Because I want it dead. I want it gone. I'm not getting swept here. Simply refuse to be swept. We get a special attack drop. Not too worried about that Pokemon. And Rock Slide's going to come out here and watch. She's going to flinch my Sylveon. Nope, it does not. It does not, but... Actually, it might It might have. We never got the chance to see it. We're just getting torn up here. This is just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We still have Grimstrong. I forgot about that, but I, I refuse to get swept here. I refuse to get swept. I refuse to get swept, especially to double sleep. So from here, I'm going to go for the fake out on that. I'm just going to moon blast onto this side. If he wants to swap Lando, it's fine by me. I'm not getting swept. I'm telling you guys right now, we're going to go one and two. Should have probably went two and one. This match, I'll take it on the chin, but last match, we probably should have won. But it just hurts. It just hurts to lose to double sleep. Always doing me wrong. I always feel bad. Like, I do it every once in a while. Every once in a while, I'll pull it off. But it's like, before you hit that second sport, you're like, oh, should I do it? You have to, like, you have to question yourself. You have to question your integrity with the game <laughs> when you do a double sport. But I fake out the heat train. I'm going to move blast Lando. I'm going to finish that off. I mean, I'm still here, but it's it's not looking good. The heat train can just rip into me with gleams. And I have no move to take deal damage to it with. So left over is gonna give its HP back, and yeah, I'm just gonna run it at this point. Stop wasting my time. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I did, I did actually really like this team as well. We had a great second match, but now out comes this thing. You know what? I want to kill this thing. I want this thing dead. I really want this thing dead. So you know, what? I'm gonna parting shot onto that, and I just want to kill this Amoogus. I want this thing obliterated. I want it gone. Or put me to sleep. And it, watch, you're gonna protect here and just play it smart. Yeah, <laughs> you guys should have ran. <laughs> Definitely should have ran. It's just such an easy read. But we're gonna punish shot. We'll get the drops, but I think Flash Cannon can still KO me here. I think Flash Cannon still KOs me. Butter means not the beefiest. Even with minus one, I should do no jumping damage. I hope we survive. And I'm just gonna run because I don't want to swap in a moon. It's just toying with me. We'll lose this one regardless. We got one and two for today's video.
Wish I could have brought you guys a winning record for today, but hey, it's been a while since we actually grabbed ourselves a losing record. We've been killing it on the ladder. We went one and two for today's video. Won our first one, played really, really good in our second one, and then got in our head a little bit at the end and ended up losing. And third and final match, we're just putting that behind us. We're definitely putting that behind us. But Sylveon was absolutely amazing. Love this Pokemon with choice specs. Hits like an absolute truck in the first battle. Really showcased this Pokemon. So glad I got that one on recording. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all the five videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.